I'm playing XCOM here. 95% chance to hit, miss. I hate everything that you stand for, game. I'm physically ill right now. Well, hello, hello. Welcome back to the demo for Home Behind 2. Now, I recorded the first video of this immediately, like right before I went on my little Thanksgiving break at the end of November. But I did mention that video, if you guys enjoyed it enough, that when I get back, I would cover more of this, because for a demo, there's actually a lot to do in this game. There's even mechanics that we have not covered just yet, like the vehicle battle mechanic, which I hope we get to do it eventually at some point in the demo. So the first thing, though, we should drop those points into agility so you actually are able to hit with your weapon on occasion. And here's the big meat and bones of the game, where I kind of compare to Darkest Dungeon other than the, con the combat. Which is, this is going to be our hub, where we get to build things, and essentially think of it as a town in Darkest Dungeon, where you do all of your upgrades, send people to places to recover morale and whatever. This is where you would do stuff like that here in this game. And we have a command center that we have to level up. So, we also have dispatch missions for all the people we'll eventually be able to recruit, send them off to missions apparently. So here right now we have Defend the Gold Mine. The only problem is that there's going to be Strength, which is... would be for Horon. But I also want to go out and do a couple of missions, or at least travel more, while we do that. Let's go out and hopefully recruit somebody to replace Horon. Meanwhile, we can send him off on that mission. Let's go off to the world map here. It's barren, so the resources are negative 90 to 1. I don't like that too much. Down here, we have Small Mountains, recommended level 3. 19 hours. There's still room in your truck for more weapons. Yeah, but we don't have any more weapons, so for now, we'll go forward. Who is this? You are an enemy. You seem to have some really cool looking armor, though I gotta be honest with you. Army Medical Squadron. Okay. Shamila. A lot of fitness. So you probably have a lot of HP on you, but that's really about it. You guys are full auto? Yeah. Let's uh, keep it full auto here for now. I guess, like, my worry was if we get into, like, two on two combat situations, I would rather have three against that type of situation, but in all honesty, if we just keep running into, like, one on ones, or at least enemies of squadrons of only one, I guess we could probably send Horon out there after all. Oh! She did some sort of like, you know, last breath, <laughs> keep alive skill right there. Intriguing. No option, unfortunately, reviver or recruiter, which is a shame. Uh, let's see, have we been injured whatsoever yet? No. Our injuries are almost there. So once you get up to a 10, I believe, that is when um, you start taking infection, trauma, and fracture damage. And that's when you have to use these items down here to cure that. Otherwise, um, it was gonna- it's gonna limit your overall HP and stats the higher your injuries go. A raging fire burns here and billows thick smoke. The temperature is rising by the second we can risk injury and attempt to extinguish the fire. I don't know, why don't you just let nature take care of it? Um, well, we have a better chance with agility to salvage supplies, so let's do that. Oh, I hate you so much. <laughs> I, I hate you so much! Oh, almost clicked you, but at the last second I saw that red dot. Oh, they tried to take me for a fool. Oh, we have an inside of an open- I love these things. At least the last one that we went inside had tons of loot. Can we come in here? Abandoned warehouse iron door. This warehouse has been abandoned for years. You can smell dust, rust, and a rather nasty stench. An iron door is relatively good condition. Why is a few rust stains? It'd be hard to break down. Well, luckily for us, we can use intelligence. <laughs> For explosives at 81, come on. Oh, come on, dude, are you kidding me? What is this, XCOM? I'm playing XCOM here. 95% chance to hit, miss. I hate everything that you stand for, game. I'm physically ill right now. <laughs> I'm glad I stopped writing because I really wanted to get a good look at this. Did you just take out this bear? You also took his uh, head off, apparently. Is that where you lay in sleep and wait for your prey? You get inside the bear's body? You probably do. All right, um, Harum, by the way, has got a couple of injuries there. Mm -hmm. Um, so as you can see, he's over 10, so now negative are uh, 1, 1, and 1. So for that, I believe the easiest one across the board would be a couple of herbs. As you can see, we're down to zeros again, so that's good. Everybody else does seem to be just fine. The animal carcass. A mostly untouched animal carcass except for the chunk of its abdomen which has been torn off by some beast. So, uh, an even bigger beast than the bear took his, um, his abdomen out, huh? Cut the meat three times? Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we almost failed the 96 one, but luckily we're gonna get a ton of supplies from that. If we could get a perfect, though, 
If we get her perfect, I could have been like 50 supplies with her alone. Which would have been good, but hey. Alright, let's deal with you. Mar Marjana, Spy Squadron. Fairly weak overall, just Resolve. Not sure if Resolve's gonna really help you out here on this one, so... As long as we pop you full of lead, show them your true strength. Oh, you know what I haven't done? I haven't leveled up my skills. I believe we could use supplies for that. We should probably drop some, because we do have a lot of extra supplies right now. At least when it comes to, like, food. I'm really upset that we can't find an option to recruit. Well, here we go. We might be able to recruit them. They're mercenaries and they require money. Do we at least have supplies for the command center? No, I think we need, like, 12, right, was it? So we would need... we need a lot more metal. Hey, Prince, take a look at this new tent. Not bad, right? Are these your personal living quarters? Of course not. It's our infirmary. Our teammates are suffering some pretty nasty injuries during the excursions. Treating their wounds in an open-air environment is far from sterile. Even without a proper checkup, I just know that the bacteria is multiplying rapidly within our camp. The last thing we want is a viral infection spreading throughout our ranks, so I designed this infirmary. It's not going to be a perfectly sterile environment, but we can at least keep it organized and isolate our wounded. I also believe we'll be able to synthesize medicines by grinding herbs or soaking bandages in alcohol to sterilize them. All we need now is a few beds for patients' treatment and recovery. Eh, why don't you become so capable? Are you, uh, qualified to practice medicine? Of course, and it should make you happy. I took two medical courses, one in the first aid and the other in field medicine. An unexpected talent, Ben. I can be quite cautious about putting my life into the hands of strangers. Okay, so that's opened up the infirmary for us now as well. Very cool. Well, herbal powder. And we have painkillers as well. Ooh, okay. That's not too bad. So the painkiller is what? 10, 10, and 5, which requires alcohol and herbs. Really? That's an amazing trade-off, I would say. Yeah, give me a couple of those. Let's maybe keep a couple of alcohols just in case. What about the herbal powder? Just, uh, three herbs. 5, 15, and 5? Oh, these are good trade-offs, man. Yeah. Horon, hey. off you go. We are gonna have to... Dispatched. Ban's gonna go up front and now Chris is over here. Perfect. Now, the problem is with Chris's weapon, I don't think it's good from this spot, right? Hmm? Okay. Um, Chris. What about this one? That one works. It's weaker. Way weaker, but at least it's a better situated spot than the other one, so... Alright, let's see how we do without Horan. I mean, I guess we should be fine as long as we keep it simple. If we see dangers, if we can flee, let's try to flee if we can, but I think we should be theoretically fine. I'm not crazy about that shotgun, but it is what it is. Homeboy's got like a bit of a rifle himself going on here. Got two events. So far, we have been batting O for every single event thus far. I mean, I think we got the easy ones, but... Burning damage telephone pole with raging fire here burns. Salvage supplies for 77. Okay, we got out of the red. And we got metal, which is good. It's one of the things we are definitely lacking. Weather, please. Scaria's power grid has been decimated by the war. Remove parts. Our intelligence is going to pay off, hopefully, hopefully, as it did. We got batteries out of that. More batteries. So now we have, um... We have enough batteries now to upgrade the command station. We just need a couple more stones. Like, one more wood. Metal's really the big problem here at the moment. He's got apparently a higher block rate. We already dropped a little bit of infection on him. We might, maybe... Maybe want to swap him out? I mean, we'll see how it plays out here for now, but maybe that shotgun up front with less of a chance to hit could be really good. I mean, if it hits, it definitely would decimate our opponents, I would say. This seems like a very dangerous event here. <laughs> I'm not sure if I feel confident considering how bad we've been having rolls right now, but... A uh, state of disrepair. Constantly emitting dazzling sparks and huge crackles of electricity. Try it. Ooh, stop. Oh. We still took damage, but we got batteries out of it. Please don't kill me. Okay. Hmm. So had we done that before, and I guess we could have uh, done this without taking any damage, huh? Oh. Well. I think it was still worth it. We learned a little bit from it. Remove parts from telephone pole? Yeah, that would, uh, assuming you're not going to electrify me. Um, that would be steel, right? Failed. Come on, come on. Perfect! Uh, I wasn't steel, it was just wood. But it was enough wood to get us over the amount that we needed for the upgrade for the command station. 
tribal mercenaries. You, your teammate just unlocked his first job skill, making him more powerful in battle. Oh. <laughs> skills may be used whenever their cooldown expires. Ultimate skills may only be used when a teammate's morale is full. You may also use the auto button to set more detailed strategies for teammates during auto battle. Precise aim. Well, let's see how it works out with the full auto on. Like, are you going to use it when that fills up immediately or what? Ow. Shotgun do. Okay. It's like this weird little missile that apparently hits him. But as long as it's precise, as the name is called, should be fairly good. Ban is taking a ton of damage. So obviously she's not as good at the tank as Horan is. <laughs> what? Well, that's that's actually kind of cool, but what? <laughs> what happened to her? He hit me with that skill that Horan has and... I mean, she wasn't that low on HP, right? She was like a little bit over half, I would say, right? Oh my god. It's like here I'm thinking I'm gonna die from other from not having like a um, horn into the team. Nah, man, this is a dude hitting me with his powerful skills and it kill me. Hey, I got some good news. <sighs> what is it? Is that could do dead? Oh, the communications device. It looks like the signal's getting stronger. So we're finally able to make contact with the CSB. That bastard Akadula has cut off the normal methods of communication. Thankfully, with the modifications I've made, we can use it as a satellite phone. What are you doing here? You're not even supposed to be here. You're on a mission, you you scumbag. Okay, so we're checking this out. Um, it does seem to be in Chinese still over here. Hey, hello. Can you hear me? Hey, hey. Are you repeating yourself? Sorry, service is terrible here. Are you an operator for the revolutionaries? Correct. Speak quickly. We're busy. Too many, not enough operators to provide. Oh, the signal's terrible. Is this really the best technology the Nordal Republic has to offer? Uh, perhaps I crossed some wires while I was modifying the device. Hello? We're a team of guerrilla fighters in Southway Scar Southwest Scaria. We request assistance from headquarters. Do you know of any other revolutionary camps nearby? No, at the moment, front line in the east, you behind enemy lines. Unable. Effective assistance. What's she saying? Uh, I suspect the revolutionaries are focusing their efforts in East Scaria. Southwest Scaria is occupied by government forces, so... They won't be able to help us. I understand. Is there anything else you can provide? We're in desperate need of fun, supplies, uh, weapons, ammunition. No, you don't understand. Scaria, guerrilla fighters, too far. We can't assist. A liaison officer. Help register. Prove your value. We will try to send limited support. Satellite phones are mainly used for diplomatic missions. Complete weekly diplomatic missions or fulfill the resources and conditions set forth by the world powers to improve your favor with them. A world power provides you with a great deal of assistance once you raise your favor with them. It's actually kind of cool. Hmm. Another guerrilla fighter. Interesting. Please state your purpose. We located an infamous squadron of fighters. It's in everyone's interest to eliminate them. Defeat the target squadron. Reward materials few. Well, I will do this. I probably will, but I would probably do it after we get Horon back. Speaking of Horon... 0.9 days away. Okay. So, basically one more map and he should come back to us. Huh. So now we have a secondary objective. You see what I'm telling you about this demo? There's so much to do. It's redonkulous. So, that's our goal. This right here should be the secondary thing, huh? Alright, so missions out of the way here. Again, we don't know the dangers of this map, at least when it comes to the possibility of enemies, how strong they're going to be. But there's a dude that we can interact with here. It's a begging refuge. Refugees displaced by the Civil War have been starving for ages. Their eyes are full of despair and helplessness. Uh, let's see. Donate supplies or don't help them? Well, we're at an 18 plus right now, it does seem, huh? Army Medical Squadron, Ruaida. A lot of agility, so she won't be missing too often. Oh, you know what I forgot to do again? Ah! Don't be throwing needles at me, you, you weirdo. Who does that? Rag grenade out. And grenade launcher. Wasn't even needed. We got a new great weapon, though, so that makes me happy. 
Heavy machine gun! Radiation pond? Salvage supplies? Mmm. <laughs> 14%, I mean. That's okay, we'll skip that one. On occasion, it's alright to skip some, right? Oh, you're not gonna blow me up today, buddy. Speaking of which, uh, we're still lacking two metal. Wasn't this the, uh, the map that I went to with a, an abundance of supplies? I mean, I'm not seeing it right now. Ooh, but we have a building, which we can enter. The last one that we did to this really hooked us up, so I'm hoping for the same here. Stone, yeah! But there it is. Now we have enough stone for the upgrade to the command station. Now we just need stone, um, metal. Oh, let me try this again. Now all we need is metal. Ah, damn it. To be an herb. All we need is one steel. A communication ship? That's the last thing I expected to find. It looks like it's compatible with our satellite phone. You're right. Communication ships like this one are turned to secret sound wavelengths and are encoded with necessary encryption codes to make contact. We'll be able to carry out diplomatic missions with whichever world powers decide to send us their communication ships, once we've installed them into our satellite phone, of course. Encouraging news, I'd say. Why don't we hurry back to the camp and see if we can get it to work? We still need just one more steel. Mm -hmm. Scout. And explosives. Apparently, if I want to get things done in this game, just blow everything up. Sleeping... I don't... I mean, let's give it a try, but... Oh, 25% chance, and that one actually helped out. And we got morale out of it. Okay. It's a blueprint. Oh, sweet, for the vehicle! So we could pimp it out. Nice. There it is! We now have enough to upgrade the, the, the station, finally. Alright, so now all we're really looking for is hopefully somebody to hire. But in terms of our supplies needed for the, the base, it's now ready. Let's leave. I'm telling you, these buildings are usually so good. So freaking good, never skip them. I mean, at least so far, the two buildings I've run into have been fairly good. Now, before we apparently exit this map, we have to fight some sort of, um, dude out of the Star Wars universe. Order Mercenary. Shukriya. A lot of strength. You're gonna probably do a ton of damage, aren't you? Bandit, I hope you're ready for this, cause, um... Might not be too good. So his stats went up with that one. Got a fracture already. What is- what is he doing? Get out of here, dog. Grenades? Good. Okay. You know what? We're doing pretty good. She was stunned there momentarily as well. Now she's dropping holy swords on top of me. Um, I'm, I'm really worried for Chris. He's gonna get knocked out here pretty soon. That should knock her out, though. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what that was all about. They're suddenly dropping holy swords in the sky. The realism is slowly degrading, I would say, but we got a canteen. No idea what it does, though. Question marks all over the place. Alright, if we could get out of this map soon, we don't have to heal Chris and um, just let nature take its toll. We should be out of it here now, right? Yeah! I'm curious about this um, mysterious trinket we just acquired. Now, Haran should be back too. We have enough to build a station. You know what? This went surprisingly well. And we have enough money as well for to hire a mercenary whenever we run into one. So, you know what? I'm happy about this. And we now have also a crafting station. Our new workshop has tools which allow us to cut, smelt, and mold materials. We'll even be able to forge simple armor. I know what you're thinking. Simple armor? Eh, you want advanced armor and trinkets, right? Well, we'll have to upgrade the equipment first. Otherwise, all we can make is a bunch of scrap metal. We can also enhance our current weapons and armor with the right materials. Keep in mind that enhancing will fail more frequently, as an item's enhance level increases. There it is. Haran's back. He survived. We got money. And we have all the supplies to upgrade the command center. Nicely done. The command center is the most important facility in our camp. It also takes the most resources. Yeah, I've noticed that. Consider upgrading your command center as one of your top priorities. All facilities within our camp may be upgraded. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. So we finally got that. Oh, it's still not ready, though. It's gonna. You gotta wait 12 hours. <laughs> Come on. Now you're being realistic. Holy source from the sky. That's perfectly fine. This here? Come on. Let's be serious, huh? Alright, well, 12 hours for that. Let's see what our Metalworks has in store for us. You may craft armors. I know we're missing at least armor one dude, so... Simple armors right here. This requires two stone, two and two. Do I have enough everything? Yep, it's gonna be all over metal, but we can at least make one. 
There's only a 30% chance of success, so unfortunately. 30 doesn't sound good, but oh my god, he did it! And I think, I guess we got into the dark green enough that it upgraded a bit more. So instead of just getting simple, we got new great armor. Yo, what are the odds? You have me roll low, I somehow get them right. You have me roll high, I always apparently fail. It is XCOM. Alright, well, we're gonna wrap it up here for this one, guys. Let's get a horn on here into the front of the squad. I'm gonna do a little bit of um squad rearrangement and some movement of items here and there. If you guys want to see some more, you know what to do, let me know. Um, I think more than likely if we do more... I think maybe the next video we should probably get there. I mean, I even, like, I, I upgraded what I wanted to upgrade. I've shown you some of the things I wanted to. I guess we can just make a last push to this one here. So yeah, if we do another video, we just come back and just kind of, um, press towards the objective. And that should be it. But, um, I'll leave it up to you guys to let me know. Otherwise, as I mentioned, completely free demo. Check it out on your own time. There's a lot to do.